your workplace is a well-oiled machine of productivity. But you may have heard things about the idea of diversity in your workplace. We're here to give you the straight rap on diversity. Hey, you seen the new guy? Yeah, and you know, I don't think he even speaks English. And his skin's a different color than us. Shh, I think he, I think he, I think he heard you. Your employer has hired Swarmites because they are cost-effective and labor law exempt. But I fear change. There are just three simple things to remember. Number one, Swarmites have no awareness of the people around them. Lacking a central nervous system, Swarmite communication is based on magnetic fields and eyeball moistness. Their behavior may seem inconsiderate, but don't take it personally. They just don't think of you as being alive. In cases like this, always humor the Swarmite. Any other response will be taken as a threat to its offspring. Number two. Avoid any and all physical contact with Swarmites. Great job, Carl. The Swarmite skin is actually its primary sexual organ. Be courteous and respect boundaries. As everyone knows, you should never engage in workplace romances, especially with your Swarmite co-workers. This could lead to inefficiency, office strife, and the laying of eggs in the human spinal cord. Number three, never feed your Swarmite after midnight. Swarmites have a very delicate metabolism. Imbalances may lead to mood swings and or psychopathic episodes. When dealing with a rogue Swarmite, you should always remain calm. Simply follow the steps outlined in your Swarmite Care and Termination Manual. Following these simple rules, you will be on your way to a healthier, happier workplace with your new Swarmite friend.